Now I'm going to show you how to do a snowman picture on the bottom half of your paper. It's going to look something like this. Oh, this one by the snow. Can you see the snow coming down on the snowman? So we need to start off with a blue oil pastel. Fill that bit away and it puts out of the way. So start off with a blue oil pastel. You can do this in the middle of your paper, you can do it over to one side or the other, but don't do it too small because your snowman is the main feature of your Christmas card design and it needs to be quite big. So start off with a blue oil pastel and do a U shape. That's going to be your snowman's head. Now, do a circle for the middle part of your snowman, that's your, your snowman's body. And then another circle, a bigger circle, for the bottom half of your snowman's body, for your, where your snowman's legs would be. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is to get the white oil pastel and go over. If your oil pastel is a little bit dirty, just clean it on the messy mat. It doesn't matter if your oil pastel is broken or small, it, small, it still works just as well, but just make sure it's clean. So clean it on the messy mat and then go over the lines that you've done. Can you see how this is making the lines look softer and lighter, a little bit more like a snowman would look? Okay, when you've done that, then it's time to do your snowman's hat. So you can choose a colour of Sharpie that's on your table, the Sharpies that I've you to share. So choose a colour that you like. I'm going to do red. And I'm going to do my snowman's hat like this, a line across the top there. That's why we didn't do the top of his head because he's wearing a hat. And then it's going to go like this. And go like that. And then I'm also going to do my snowman scarf and I'm going to do that red as well. A line across and then coming down like that with some tassels on the bottom. Then I'm going to use the black Sharpie. We've got enough of those for everybody so that's fine. And do the snowman's eyes. That will be black stones that you would make your snowman's eyes out of. And do the snowman's mouth. That's lots of little black stones making your snowman smile. And then you can either use red or orange to do the carrot. Well, we don't have that many reds and oranges, so you might have to wait for the other people in your table to take turns to be able to do that. When you've done your orange carrot, you can use your black sharpie to do a couple of little lines on the carrot to make it look 3D. Then, I'm going to go back to the oil pastel and colour in the hat and the scarf. So I'm going to do this red inside where I've done the sharpie line. I'm going to put a bobble on top of the hat. I'm going to do the scarf red. If the paper on your oil pastel is too close, you can just peel it away. You just get a little bit of the paper with your nail. Just peel it away a little bit. like that it helps to make the edge a bit sharper so that you've got a finer line so you can get inside where you did your sharpie line to do your oil pastel line okay the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and make our snowman look a little bit three-dimensional that means so that when we're looking at him it looks like he's round instead of flat so we're going to do that by adding value to our snowman, which is an element of art. And to do that, we're going to use a blue oil pastel. And we're going to make one side of the snowman a little bit darker than the other side. Can you see how I'm using this 
blue oil pastel quite lightly don't want to press too hard to just create like a shadow around my snowman then I can get the white and just slightly go over the top of the blue to blend it a little bit and that helps to make my snowman look 3D now whilst I've got the blue and the white oil pastel out I'm going to do the snow line so no, the snow line in my picture is where the snow is and by the snowman sitting on top. So I think I'll put my snow line about here. So don't draw over your snowman's body. The snow is quite thick and deep, so it's a bit wavy like this. And then I'm going to use a white oil pastel again and just go over the top to just soften it a little. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brown oil pastel to make the snowman's arms. So this will be a tree trunk, so it needs to look a bit like a, not a tree trunk. A tree trunk would be too big, a tree branch. So coming out like this, with some branches on so it looks a bit like fingers and hands. Another one there. To do that now, the next thing I'm going to do is to paint the background, so I need the blue paints. I need some water and I need a brush. What I'm going to do is going to make a little puddle in the water, on the paint with the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure that I've got plenty of paint on my brush but I don't want the paint to be too thick. I want it quite watery for it to be like the sky. And then I'm going to carefully paint over the sky, so I'm using quite a bit of water with it, not too much paint. Can you see I'm dipping my brush in the water and then just getting a little bit from that puddle that I made on the top. And where I've done the oil pastel, it resists the paint because we've got wax resist. So that's really good because it means that I'm not painting over my snowman. It's very clever. A bit more water my paint back in the little puddle that I made. I'm not going to paint over the snow, I'm just painting the sky. So this snowman, it's, just imagine it's a cold, cold day but it's bright, it's been snowing, you've gone outside and you've built an amazing snowman. But the sky is nice and blue it's cold and frosty so you need your gloves on to keep warm. Remember, don't, not too much paint, just keep getting some from the little puddle that you made. And go over, be careful not to go on your snowman's face. The oil pastel will help you with that. Some more from the puddle. Now to help our snowman look 3D, we're going to use more water and a little bit of paint from the puddle, just a little bit. And we're going to put like a little bit of a shadow just underneath so it looks like a shadow on the ground of where our snowman is. And that helps to make them look 3D. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to do, we can't really do, I can't really do straight away on my picture. Yours will look better than this because it's better if you wait for the paint to dry a little bit so I'm just going to dab the paint a little bit to help it dry and then we're going to use some white acrylic paint and squeeze this out to make snowflakes and you've got some cotton buds to use but I'm going to use my finger because I don't have cotton buds and dip it in the paint put some snowflakes in the sky so it looks like it's snowing maybe I'll put a couple on my snowman's hat and a couple on my snowman's scarf and maybe one on his arm there are lots of snowflakes in the sky and that is how we're going to make our Christmas cards. 
last minute Christmas cards. <laughs>